Intuitive Edge, welcome to my channel. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. So I came across an interesting and somewhat disturbing story and I want to get into the cards and see if there's any truth or if there's anything I can glean from this story. Um, by now, everybody's heard of Jeffrey Epstein and that he was a rich billionaire mogul, he had a private island, and it's been coming out in the news that some um, not so good things were happening on that island and that Mr. Epstein is accused of being involved in um, SEX trafficking of minors. Um, so that's bad enough in and of itself. Um, there's been some people that have come forward and that's what his trial was supposed to be about until he conveniently passed away. <laughs> anyway, that's a whole nother story in and of itself. But something that's come out of this, the police found some interesting things when they raided his home in New York. Evidently, there was some money found and a pile of diamonds. Now, it's not unusual for a rich billionaire to have a pile of diamonds, you would think. There's no big deal of that. But what is being talked about and alleged, and I've heard kind of bantered about, is that those were not ordinary diamonds. Now, I, didn't, I wasn't aware of this um, until somebody brought it to my attention that there are companies, legitimate companies, that will memorialize a person who has died by turning their ashes into a diamond. And it's done through taking the cremains, separating out the carbon, and then putting that carbon under pressure, much like you would find in the earth. And according to these places, um, it is difficult to near impossible to tell the difference between one of these diamonds and a diamond that you would find in the earth. Um, now, there are jewelers who would say that a trained jeweler can tell the difference, so perhaps that is true. I don't know if they're indistinguishable or not. Apparently they come with a certificate of authenticity and all of that, and they are, for all rights and purposes, just like a real diamond. Um, and they're very expensive to make, I guess, too. But anyway, um, it's being alleged that the diamonds that were found in Mr. Epstein's mansion may have been made from the remains of people, victims, um, so... If that's true, that brings a whole new light on this case and who this Mr. Epstein person was and what, what he was really about. So I want to ascertain if this diamond theory story is just a theory story and a crazy, you know, something for a sci -fi, good sci-fi mystery novel, or if that's actually the truth. So I'm gonna shuffle up the cards and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm pulling out 10 cards to see what the story is around this. The first card out is the two of C. Interesting how this looks like an island, that island temple. <laughs> Just interesting how it looks like that to me. But we have the partnership card crossed by the planning card. And as you can see, these cats are sitting around a table and everyone is 
doing something or they're planning or strategizing something. So partnership meeting to plan, meet a meeting to plan something. Crowning this above, we've got the king. Could represent Epstein. Underneath this, we have the five of sky. And it came in upside down. I'll show it to you upright. This is a card of a fight happening. Somebody being singled out, having to fight for control, but also kind of the battle being over and things kind of being, you just have to basically leave the fight kind of thing. And that's kind of what's led up to this. And that is probably everything falling apart and chaos and fighting. In the past, we have another king, the fire king. Could also represent Epstein being in the past position that that he's, we believe, gone, dead and gone. Um, on the forward position, what this is a card of Walking away from a fight, knowing when to get out. This cat's walking away from a cat fight, getting tired of it and heading out of there. So two cards on fighting, two kings. Let me continue with this. Another fighting card. This is the five of wands, five of fire. So a lot of struggling, vying for power, needing to get control of a situation, being scattered, feeling threatened. Then we've got the reversed strength card. I'll show it to you up right. This reverse strength card, it can be an abuse of power, or being self-indulgent. And that's on the position of what took place, what, what the situation is. What concerns people, we have another eight. The last three cards are eights, triple eight. What concerns people the most is getting caught. Being found out. Being trapped. And the last eight, eight of fire is getting the heck out of Dodge. Trying to flee, trying to get away, trying to run. Now, now, the card underneath, I saw this card in my mind this morning as I was getting ready for my day. I just, this card popped in my mind and it made me think of this whole thing. <laughs> and this is another king. But I want you to take a look at this king in particular. This cat, living in the lap of luxury, it looks like. And he's got those jewels around his neck. Looks like he's on an island. <laughs> Interesting that would be like underneath this whole thing. So I'm going to do another spread with specific questions and see if we can tie this, what we see here, into that and get some answers. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, five more questions on this. Um, first question up, did anyone die on Epstein Island? Was there anyone murdered or died? Got the two of swords, 
There's a card of not wanting to look at something, wanting to be in denial about something, or something being kind of hidden or not wanting to be looked at. Was Jeffrey Epstein a serial killer? I've got the upside down knight on this one. This card can be reversed, can be like being stuck or stuck moving forward and having a difficult time moving forward as a message. So that may not be the right label. Maybe somebody else was doing that, not him. Directly, I'm talking directly. Um, <clears throat> are any of Jeffrey's diamonds made from human carbon? Now we have the judgment card on this. The major arcana, they carry more weight in a reading. This is a card of basically meeting the end, reaching up for this little gem thing in the tree, berry. Usually a card like that would indicate a yeah, especially upright. Anything else we need to know? We have the chariot card. Um, now this is a card of taking control of something. And when I see this, the imagery on this card, this pulling on the root of that plant with both hands, I want to see, like, it feels like it being something being pulled up by the roots. Um, and also roots being going down deeper, that there's more underneath, more to be revealed, more to be uncovered. But also an aggressive energy wanting to get to the bottom. And that's on what else do we need to know. I think there's more to this story, perhaps. More underneath, especially under the earth where we don't, where we don't see, where we don't know what's going on. I just thought the bottom of that plant is just really sticking out to me. It's like there's more underneath. Like there's, there's a lot more to be found out, to be discovered. It does feel like there is some aggressive energy pursuing some leads on various aspects of this case, whether law enforcement or private investigations, sanctioned or not sanctioned <laughs> investigations. Maybe, maybe there's people doing their own investigations. I get the impression that there may be, I, I get there's there's people interested, there's that level of like on YouTube or wherever, people are interested in this case. Then I get that there's, there's law enforcement that are doing their due diligence. But I get the sense that there's like private, like legitimate private investigators who are either interested in this case or are currently seeking answers and digging deeper. I think that there have been teams of people that are not in the news, like nobody would know about this, may not even be known to law enforcement, but it feels like there's people investigating this. Like private teams going in. And I don't think they're amateurs. I don't think these people are, there are amateurs looking at this as well as professionals in law enforcement, but this feels like professional people that do private eye type stuff. Okay. 
yeah, I think there, like, yeah, there's one person in particular I, th I see, but um, there may be others. So the last question I asked is the outcome. Will truth be told eventually regarding this story? Now, I get a lot of energy with that question. The, the card is the Queen of Cups. As you look at this queen, she's sitting and she's a little detached, kind of up above, out in the water. And there's this plant out in front. But I see, there, there, I feel, I'm, there's a lot of energy on that question. I think that this, there's a lot to the story that wants to be told. I think there's some, possibly some energy or remnants of people that may not, that may be on the other side that are wanting their story heard or to be told. Um, I, I don't know that it will all come out given that detached feeling with that card of like there's this up here but then the rest of it. And I also feel that the the truth of this would be really hard for a lot of people to handle. But I do feel like there's a lot of unrest on the other side. Um, like people wanting their story heard. Um, so perhaps somebody who is um, has medium capabilities could access that information and talk to people. But there's people that want their story heard. That's what I'm feeling. There's, yeah. Okay. That's all. It's just, it's a lot of energy. Just, it feels really tough. Okay. All right. That's it for now. Thanks, everyone. We'll catch you next time.